Good morning and welcome to what I hope will be a very big day in the Wintergarten Workshop. I'm going to assemble the new marble divider finally on top of the Marble Machine X. If I get this to work, we have fixed a lot, a lot of amazing issues. So just to recap, I had this problem with the height modules because the previous marble divider design needed the top marble to be exactly flush with the surface to work properly. So I thought I designed the simplest possible solution to slot these height modules in and out. But then the Discord community came up with a first post from the username Nobody, iterated by Locket Rancher, and then later prototyped by Rosero of this height independent marble divider design. I built it in plywood, that didn't really work, so I made a test in PUM and yesterday I made the full size version with a top PUM sleeve. I think this is one of the best parts I've ever made with one of the best design solutions ever. With this design, we don't have the height problem anymore at all. So the best part is no part. I can skip the whole solution for the height modules, just take them off the machine, have a super clean one PMA pipe from the top to the clock escapement gate. This is the future of the Marble Machine X and let's get it on the machine today. So here's the old marble divider, here's the new marble tracks and thanks to this PUM version working in the same angle I will be able to use these marble tracks exactly as I built them. This is super exciting, let's start with disassembling and making space for the new part. This was the old marble divider. Thank you for your service. Here's the new one. So this marble divider sits at a compound angle. It's angled in three directions. So the way I'm going to fit this is that I designed this oversized. So right now it doesn't fit in. I have more material on both sides than I need. And I'm just slowly going to remove material. Measure, remove, measure, remove, measure, remove until I can slot this in. So I have a lot of cuts to make. Let's start doing that. For the first cut, I'm using this old marble divider as a rough guide and my Darista marker for good luck. So only one rule applies here. Don't cut off too much. Be patient, make small cuts. For the touring version of the Marble Machine X that I'm working on with the CAD team, we have to exclude all these manual fitting processes. Everything should fit immediately with each other from CAD, because these kind of things takes a lot of time. So first cut, still doesn't fit, which is good. So let's figure out these angles now. I've rigged this up to the correct degrees and I'm now tracing this line here. I wish I'd done this in CAD as it's pretty nerve wracking, but this actually doesn't have to fit absolutely perfect. As long as the marble intro and outro from the part is correct, the placement is good enough. So still. <laughs> This right here is the only part left from the beginning of the first version of the marble divider. I'm gonna cut it in half so some part still remains. We are in. I realized how cool it would be to support the marble divider only from here, from, from, from behind. It becomes totally floating. So now I want to eliminate this part altogether. So just to show you what it's going to look like, imagine when these pipes are coming out like this, like that, and the whole marble divider is floating from here. Yeah. So to cut this off flush down here, I'm gonna make my favorite technique to remove the saw blade from a hacksaw and then cut by hand with only the saw blade. You can access places that you never thought was possible. <laughs> oh. Whew. I didn't say it was easy, but it works.
Okay, we're really getting to the business end of this project now. Let's try to line that up. And I'm going to use a PMA pipe to see how the marbles enter. That's perfect. I want a little step down for the marble. That's perfect. And now we want this to be 17.5 degrees. So let's pivot this. Oh, 17.5. Oh. Perfect. So now I'm going to create a template for an attachment bracket. And this will be our attachment bracket. I'm gonna make this from metal. Boom, here's my bracket. Let's just not think, let's just do. This looks great. One last double check, degrees are good. Marble transition is perfect. Let's go. It's a small weld for a TIG welder, but it's a giant leap for the marble divider. They're gonna have me weld airplane wings next. Yes! It feels like it's getting real. I'm only adding a temporary screw here. I'm gonna remove this and weld it on the bench. Oh, this feels so great. Okay, let's do the other side. So this bracket that will hold the floating marble divider, it's a little thin, it would be okay, but I want to make this look a little bit more sturdy and be a little bit more sturdy. So let's take it to the workbench. <laughs> yeah, love this part. So here's the left side bracket and the right side bracket. And I'm going to strengthen them both by adding this little thing, this thing here. I'm also gonna close this circle here. This is going to be rock and roll TIG welding at its best. For some reason, I love these brackets. It took me no time to stabilize them and I don't mind the ugly welds because this is going to work. Time efficiency and kind of when you don't try to make it beautiful, it becomes an aesthetic in itself. <laughs> okay, let's get the marble divider finally onto the machine forever. Good. 17.7. Perfect. There we go. It's on. It's solid as a rock. We are two steps away from final test. I'm going to attach all the pipes to and from the marble divider. Like so. This is a pipe connecting the fish there with the marble divider intro. This bolt needs adjusting. Awesome. So the next step is this pipe leading from the marble divider back into the fish there. So this will now complete the recycling loop. We have arrived, I filled the fish there. I'm gonna crank the machine. If the marbles fill the whole marble divider and returns through this pipe, it works. Let's go. We have one camera on the top here and one camera on the front recording at the same time. This is my first try. Plug and play, come on. I hear a strange sound. Ah, oh, here it's a marble on the flywheel. <laughs> okay, strange sound fixed. Here we go.
beautiful. Every hole has a marble. It worked first try, yes. It's kind of fun saying first try when I've literally been trying for three years. <laughs> My friends, it works. It works. This is a bigger deal than it might seem totally eliminates the height issue and making all my routing of 38 marble PMA pipes from here down to all the clock escapement gates so much easier. So again, thanks to Discord, thanks to Rosero for prototyping, nobody for coming with the idea, Locket Rancher for iterating and everyone who has commented and made this idea happen through the Wintergarten Discord community. So next step now is to incorporate these marble lanes and make them line up perfectly from the conveyor down to the new divider. I've actually designed this PUM part in a way so it will be totally compatible with these marble lanes. So that's going to be in the next video. Thank you so much to all the Wintergarten YouTube members and all the Wintergarten patrons and everyone watching and following this crazy build. I'm thrilled. It feels like I'm doing deep work. It feels like I'm doing what I should do. It feels like I'm learning about redundancy the hard way. It doesn't feel like I'm wasting my life completely. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, everyone. See you tomorrow.